All this month, we are talking about this great book by Beth Moore called The Undoing of St. Sylvanus. And uh, we're joined by our lovely book club today, <laughs> Ruth, Colleen, Julie, Nikki, and Melinda, and uh, delving deep into this book. And I hope that you will grab your copy and join us on this journey again all this month. Okay, I want to start off first, ladies, with shocker that Beth Moore, who's a Bible teacher, we're used to seeing her, you know, Bible studies, delving into fiction. What were your thoughts about this? I'll be honest, at first I wasn't quite sure. Yeah. Because when you move from someone like a preacher who's now going into storytelling this way, I was a little hesitant, Maggie, to be honest. So I kind of came in starting the book with a little trepidation. Yeah. Because I wasn't quite sure. Is it going to be a big preachy novel or was she going to do the storyline justice? Okay. Mm -hmm. Other thoughts? I was impressed. I was. Um, because, well, it's been a, a while since I've actually dug into a fiction book. Yeah. Um, <laughs> at, but I, I thought, okay, this kind of feels nice. It's, mm -hmm. it, it, it really didn't seem like it was Beth Moore that mm -hmm. was writing. You see what I'm saying? Because if you're used to her teachings and her preaching, you would imagine a novel, you know, going in a different way or, mm -hmm. yeah. So I was, I was quite impressed. And so as we go into, there are a lot of themes, a lot, without giving it all away to you guys at home, <laughs> but there are a lot of great themes throughout this book. What's some of the themes that popped out at you, Ruth? Well, one of the ones that I really loved in here was a theme of second chances. Mm -hmm. It just kept coming up over and over again. These people that had really messed up their lives, they, they got a second chance. And I thought that really speaks to the way God is, that mm -hmm. he... You know, just when you think everything's over and done, somehow a second chance comes around for you. God makes a way for something that just blows your mind. Mm -hmm. So hang in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be family to be home. Mm -hmm. And that this group of strangers just came together and they became a family. Mm -hmm. You know, and they help one another, they care for one another. And mm -hmm. it's, it's nice to know that there is a home away from home. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I would jump off that for theme and say that it was the the house full of misfits. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a beautiful picture of the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Is that we don't all have to have the answers. Yeah. We can have doubts and questions, mm -hmm. but we can just come together mm -hmm. in community and and that shared experience. I felt that really represented in the house. Yeah. With the characters and outside of the house as well. You know, Maggie, I felt that in our brokenness and chaos, in the failures and and in society that they have kind of like mm -hmm. said, you're not worthy or valuable, God is in the midst of it. Mm -hmm. God is in the midst mm -hmm. of us, his people, wanting to give us second chances and to restore us. And so that theme of God and his love for us, even if we don't want it, yeah. was quite evident because mm -hmm. the characters yeah. so pushed true. him away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he still was present and pursued them. And it was, I think, for every one of us, even for myself, that really resonated with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So without, again, giving it all away to yes. our friends at home, <laughs> Belinda, how would you summarize? Like if, you, if somebody said, what's this book about? How would you oh. summarize it? <laughs> Wow, that's big, Maggie. I would say, I mean, I think when I look at the, the one of the main characters, Jillian, yeah. and I've related to her, it's that you're on this journey, and you know, you think that you know what's going to happen, you feel like you're in control of your life, but God has other plans. Yeah. God has a whole different plan yeah. for you that you may never ever expect or dream of, and when you're open, and yeah, there will be highs and lows, but when you're open, it it will make your life something so beautiful, so redemptive, mm -hmm. and make sense. And so I don't, that's why I don't want to give it yeah, away too yeah, much, yeah, yeah. but there is that part of the story of God's redemption and love for all people. And I would mm -hmm. say that's, that's um, a storyline that everybody can get behind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do any of you ladies have examples of that, of how you've seen God kind of redeem either your story or somebody that you know in your life, where you just said, yes, that's what God is about. That's who God is. A really big example for me was our oldest son because he, uh, you know, went to university, had a really rough time, and it kind of looked like everything had fallen apart for him. And uh, he just it felt like, okay, well, I'm not contributing to the family anymore. He had all these really negative thoughts, went to a really dark place. Mm -hmm. 
And then just the ways that God stepped in and created opportunities for him. And uh, he's now actually going to Trinity Western University, wow. doing exceptionally well, and is just a different person entirely. And it was in the span of three years. And that's, you know, sometimes, like you pointed out, Jillian, who would run whenever conflict happened, and we tend to run. But when we stay and we allow God to work through these situations to change us, this amazing thing comes about. And, well, we can't give away too much of the book. <laughs> We're biting our tongues here. We're biting them. You know, you say that, Ruth, and I, I think about times in my life, and it's hard sometimes yes. to stick to uh, who God says we are, yes. to lean on our identity. Let's talk about that, the difficulty of that, because... Hooray to your son and also even Jillian and, and many others who do that. But there's sometimes a point where you just feel like, I just can't do this anymore. I know that God says he loves me, but I'm at this moment where I just can't see it. Mm -hmm. Do we do we feel that way sometimes? Yeah. 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 I think quite a few years before I had I went through a really dark time in my own life, mm -hmm. right? And to the to that to the theme of redemption as you were saying, right? I, I think it was like a two years of my life that was really dark and like everybody was just, I was all by myself. Mm. And God redeems, mm. you know, at a point where I, I thought no one was there and mm. somehow he let me know that he is there. Mm. And it kind of established that foundation of my faith even stronger, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. And he does redeem and after that, everything just changes. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of like the main storyline, you know, her, her life was going one way, but it seems like it hit the dead end. Yeah. But then God just came in and he changed everything. Mm -hmm. And I think she was redeemed in the end, you know, mm -hmm. like her life had a purpose, you know, there, there was reconciliation mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna give up what's gonna happen, but you know, it's a happy ending book, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And it's, mm -hmm. that's how it has been for my life and that's how God is, mm -hmm. you know, he never leaves you hanging. He's always gonna be there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. what, I, what I can appreciate is that um, you know, some of the things that the main character experienced were just so incredibly like, whoa, like really? And, and, and you know, to be honest, I can't relate to some of what, you know, the main character went through, yeah. but what I can relate to is the fact that God met her mm -hmm. and he meets me, mm -hmm. right? Even in my everyday, mm -hmm struggles like while they're not the same as as this character or you know my neighbor or whatever yeah. um his faithfulness is is kind of consistent throughout so i appreciated that even though um there are some things you, like i literally had to yeah. put the book down like i cannot i cannot i'm a little bit of a scary cat so some things really kind of made me i had yeah. to take a break and then coming back um but i, I could relate to the fact that god met her and, and he, he meets us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.